Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Tutorialini Test Prep. Today we will be going over lesson number three on how to use the Casio FX991EX scientific calculator for the digital SAT math. Degrees, radians, and pi. Please note that I will only be covering uses where Casio outshines Desmos. I recommend you use Desmos for most questions. Let's get started. Okay, so before we go over the calculator know-how, I'm going to do a quick overview of the concept that you need to solve these questions, which is pi radians is equal to 180 degrees. So just like how there's 12 inches in a foot, and you use that to convert measures of length, we use pi radians equals 180 degrees to convert between those two units of angle measure. If you understand what a unit conversion is, you don't need to know what I have written on the board. You can figure it out. But if you want to memorize it, to go from degrees to radians, you multiply by pi over 180. And to go from radians to degrees, you multiply by 180 over pi. So Desmos is actually very finicky with pi and converting units. You can't really work with them very well. So using the Casio calculator or any good scientific calculator can be a big help. Um, so I'm going to show you guys actually how to do this um, entirely on the calculator without knowing what I just went over. However, I still think you should know the concept. Pi readings equals 180. So I'll show you how to do it both ways. So on this calculator, what you're going to do is if we want to convert from degrees to radians, we're going to set the calculator mode to radians. So watch what I do. Shift setup. So shift menu takes you to setup. Then you see where it says angle unit. So we're going to press two. And we want to set the angle unit to radians. So we're going to press two again. Now, if I type in 90, let's say 90 degrees, so I type in 90. And then I press option and I press angle unit and I want degrees. So I press one. So see how it says 90 degrees, but the calculator is in radian mode. So if I press enter, it will convert it to one half pi, which if you multiply left to right, one times pi is just pi. So this, the way we would write this is pi over two radians. Now that's a lot of button pushing to remember. So it might be easier if you just remember, okay, 90. So I'm gonna multiply by pi over 180. So pi, so we press shift, and then this button at the bottom times 10x, see how the pi is in yellow above it? Then I press down, and then I press 180, and then as always, I press right to exit the fraction bar. Now I press equals. And it again tells me one half times pi over two. So at this point, pause this video and see if you can do the second one, 120 degrees. So again, I'll do it both ways, relying on the calculator. So let me type in 120. I'm already in radian mode, so I'm good. I'm gonna press shift. No, I'm gonna just press option, angle unit, and then degree. And I press enter, and it tells me two thirds pi, or if you multiply that left to right, two times pi is two pi. So two pi over three radians. That's how we would write that. And once again, probably the easier way, just trying to be thorough, we could do 120 <laughs> times pi over 180. And we press equals, and we once again get 2 pi over 3 radians. So that's the first skill I want to talk about. So let's move on. So now we're going to talk about radians to degrees the other way. So what we're going to do for this guy is we're going to set our angle unit in the setup to degree. So I'm going to press shift, setup, angle unit, and then I'm going to press 1 to set it to degree. Now you see there's a little D kind of at the top there. 
So we're in degrees, so we're good. <laughs> so now I'm going to type in fraction bar, which is over here. And I'm going to do pi over 4. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to press Option and then press 2 for angle unit. But this time, we're going to click on the R for radian because it's pi over 4 radians. So press 2. So that reads pi over 4 radians. So now if I press Enter, it tells me 45 degrees, which is correct. Now, once again, if you can just remember that pi radians equals 180 degrees and that we need to multiply by 180 over pi, you can just do that. And that's probably a little bit easier. So I'm going to multiply by 180 over pi. And I get 45. Why don't you pause this video and see if you can do the second one. That's 7 pi over 6 radians. And we want to convert it to degrees. OK, so let me type in 7 pi over 6. And then I'm already in degrees, so I'm good. So let me press Option. And for my angle unit, I'm going to press 2 to do radians. And if I press Enter, it tells me that is 210 degrees. And once again, if we want to do it the old-fashioned way, which you probably should know in case you get um, a symbolic question, we can do 7 pi over 6 times, then press the fraction bar again. And to go from radians to degrees, we do 180 over pi. And once again, we get 210. <laughs> OK, so you guys probably, most of you probably already knew how to do that. You're probably thinking, Kyle, that's not very helpful. Well, once again, I've saved the best thing for last. And that is simplifying with pi. So this always confuses the heck out of kids because it's adding and subtracting fractions, but with a pi in it. And guess what? Desmos cannot do this. If you type one of these in in a Desmos, it'll just give you the decimal answer and as per usual on the SAT, we almost always want the simplified answer with pi or radicals in it, right? So you can just straight up, if you have a question where you have to add or subtract or multiply pi, you can just straight up type it in to the command line, and it will do it for you. So watch. I'm going to do the first one. So I'm going to do pi plus fraction bar pi over 3. 4 pi over 3. Wow. That was really helpful. That's going to save me. If I get a question like that on test day, that's going to save me a lot of time and a lot of stress. OK, why don't you pause this video and see if you can do the next two. All right, so let me try this second one. So pi over 6 plus fraction bar 3 pi over 4. And I get 11 pi over 12. And let's do the last one. So 4 pi over 3 minus pi over 2. And I get 5 pi over 6. Very, very helpful. So you guys will see this once in a blue moon. You'll get either a radiance question or a like circumference question or arc length question, something like that, where you have to type something in, and it needs to be simplified in terms of pi. And this saves you a lot of stress. It does a lot of the work for you. This is really helpful. So let's do one more. There is a digital SAT question where all these things kind of come together at once. And the calculator is really helpful. So let's try it. So why don't you pause this video, see if you can do it. 
Okay, so it says the measure of angle R is 2 pi over 3 radians. And T is 5 pi over 12 radians greater than R. So, okay, so angle, the measure of angle T is 5 pi over 12 greater. So we're going to add 5 pi over 12. Oh, that's what we were just doing. That's really helpful. Okay, why don't we go over to the calculator here. So 2 pi over 3 plus 5 pi over 12. And we get 13 pi over 12, and remember that is in radians. It says radians for both of them, right? And now it wants us to put that measure in degrees. Notice how they underlined it up here. Anytime they underline anything on the SAT, you need to be on your toes because they're doing that on purpose. <laughs> so 13 pi over 12 radians, and once again, we're going to multiply by 180 degree over pi radians. And you see, I didn't have to memorize that because I'm doing a unit conversion. I'm getting the units to cancel so that we're just left with degrees. So let's go to the calculator. And oh, I'm actually going to press up. And I'm going to press, um, oh, there's a way to pull down the thing. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure how to do it. But let's press, I believe, times. And it'll do answer times. I'll just retype it in, just for the sake of clarity for the video. So 13, there's a way to pull down the current, most recent answer. I'm not sure how to do it on this one. So times. And then we're going to do 180 over pi. And we get 195 degrees. Let's go back up here. Is that an answer choice? It is. That's answer choice C. That's the answer. So um, you also, again, could have done it like we did before. So 13 pi over 12. I just think understanding the unit conversion way is really important for the test in general. So again, we press, I'm already in degrees, so we press option, angle unit, and then I'm going to put radian. And I press enter, and I also get 195. So you could have done it that way, but all those button pushes is a lot to remember. So you're probably better off just going, okay, I got to multiply by 180 over pi and That'll make your life so much easier. So you see, guys, this part where we had to add fractions in terms of pi, calculator makes it much easier. It's one less thing you got to worry about. OK, that completes the lesson. Please like and subscribe for more digital SAT math content. If you are interested in my tutoring services, the link to my website will be in the description. I tutor all sections of the SAT and all math subjects from about 7th grade to AP slash early college level. Thanks for stopping by and good luck studying.